Hello and welcome to the session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Oracle VirtualBox and installing Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS 7. Friends, a couple of my friends asked me in past why to use Oracle VirtualBox, why we are not using VMware. When I say VMware, that's a VMware workstation. The whole purpose of this uh, particular session is to get familiarized uh, with Oracle VirtualBox for your lab setup. You can use it in enterprise, but uh, my main focus is for your lab setups. If you use VMware Workstation, you need license. Evaluation or trial version is uh, only for 60 days. After 60 days, you have to purchase the product. But if you don't want to purchase the product, you go to another option, which is Oracle VirtualBox. That's a, a free product. You can uh, install it and uh, use it. To download uh, Oracle VirtualBox, just pop up to this Oracle website or in Google just search Oracle VirtualBox. It will take you to this particular website. Here we go to installers for Windows, Mac, Solaris, Linux. So because my platform is Windows, I installed Windows installer. Just click here. It will download the installer. Just follow the instruction. Next, 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 next and finish that uh, Oracle VirtualBox will get installed. Okay, once installation is done, uh, we can create uh, Oracle Virtual Machines. So here, uh, this is my setup, which uh, we are going to create now. We got, uh, we are going to create one container. We will name it CentOS 7. We will be installing CentOS 7 64-bit. That's 100% uh, similar to Red Hat. So you can say Red Hat or CentOS 7. I'm going to configure two network interfaces first for local network connectivity or you can say uh, intermachine communication if you got uh, more than one VM where you want to communicate between VMs so you can use this particular interface I'm going to assign IP 90.10.10.50 with subnet 24 which mean uh, 255 255 255.0 and that will be L2 connectivity means no gateway and this particular interface is going to be host only interface sorry this one host only interface host only mean a connectivity will be within the host only the second interface uh, which i'm going to use for broadband connectivity means uh, through this interface i can uh, communicate uh, outside my machine or you can say with the internet this interface is going to have ip 192.168.1.50 with the uh, subnet slash 24 and gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1 which is my broadband router IP. This interface is going to be bridged adapter. Bridge mean that will be bridge over my physical Wi-Fi interface. If you see this interface, I have just uh, tried to list it. Uh, uh, first of all, sorry, that is a bad drawing, but uh, I don't got, uh, I haven't any drawing skills. Okay, so let's say uh, this is my Oracle VM. It got uh, two physical interfaces. This is the first one, which is Wi-Fi. This is the LAN, or you can say that's a virtual interface, even that's not LAN. That will be created uh, automatically by uh, Oracle VM installation. Okay, so here I got uh, two connection. One is LAN connection, that is host only interface, which I told you, which you can use for communication over network, uh, local area network, this is a second interface which we will use for internet connectivity that is going to be bridged connection okay let's uh, begin technical session friends so once you install oracle virtual box this is the welcome screen and let me show you network configuration uh, uh, which we have to do so that we can connect our lan here if you see uh, this is my network configuration i am going to here once you install uh, oracle virtualbox by default it creates one adapter which is this one virtualbox host only network enabled if i show you properties i have assigned it a ip 90.10.10.10 and this is the subnet i have not specified any gateway because that's going to be l2 connectivity uh, you can uh, choose your own network range but for my demo purpose i choose 90.10.10.0 as a network range for my LAN. No need to configure any interface for your uh, 
broadband connectivity because that is going to be bridged adapter so it will be directly uh, communicating over uh, or using that uh, Wi-Fi card so that's a basically a bridge between two interfaces okay so uh, that's a must thing uh, you have to assign IP before creating VM or you can uh, do it uh, after creating your VM in this welcome window uh, let's start creating one VM for uh, CentOS or Red Hat 7 click on new and uh, type the name uh, as I said I'm going to create uh, let's say container name let's not operating system name operating system name you have to set within uh, the OS I'm just creating one container type is Linux and here that's a Red Hat 64 bit if you're installing any other uh, Linux version like Fedora or Gen 2 so you can select here uh, CentOS and Red, Red Hat is uh, totally same so I'm just going to create CentOS 7 okay so now uh, like I'm in advanced mode other option is guided mode so that's up to you I have allocated 1 GB of RAM and uh, I'm going to create one new virtual drive I'm clicking on create now if you see here uh, it is giving couple of options like which type of drive you want you can use a parallel hard drive parallel mean it will communicate uh, to your uh, physical drive I don't want that uh, I'm going with default one which is a VDI this one and uh, this is a file size mean uh, that hard drive is going to be 8 GB if you want uh, larger yeah just expand that make sure in your file system you have a uh, space uh, free to accommodate uh, uh, this particular virtual disk size even though it is virtual it is going to consume space of your file system so let's stick it to 7 6.96 gb is sufficient okay i'm create clicking on next now okay so my vm is created next thing uh, because uh, it is slightly slightly different to vmware where, where uh, during configuration we can uh, create or assign virtual next so let's assign network because that's the main thing now clicking on settings okay if you see uh, this is the network thing clicking on network here uh, this is adapter one attached to NAT which is default I'm changing it to host only as I said uh, that will be my local adapter and here I'm not changing anything but from promiscuous mode I am allowing all so it can communicate to anything you can promise kiss me now that's an isolated uh, network basically so okay rest options will remain same for adapter 2 I'm enabling it if you see that's not enabled by default clicking enable network attached to that is going to be bridge network and uh, this is uh, my broadband or Wi-Fi adapter so I'm sticking with this one which is my uh, broadband uh, card again mode I'm changing it to allow VMs allow all sorry and here if you want you can change to para virtualized network uh, that is for um, uh, better performance I observed when I choose this one it uh, my interface code better performance here uh, you can uh, again connect to para virtualize okay that network configuration is done friends you can uh, perform other configuration let's say storage or if you want to add another storage click here you can add another disk and display that is the default configuration I am not changing anything and processor by default it's got uh, one CPU if you want to change you can add another CPU by clicking here but I'm not uh, for my lab set of one CPU is sufficient that's basically vCPU I'm clicking OK now friends so my container is created so let's install operating system to install operating system we have to power on uh, this particular container or virtual machine clicking on start okay when I click start so let me share my screen it popped on to other window when I clicked on start it asked me for uh, ISO image path I got ISO image in this particular path I have selected my CentOS 7 ISO image and clicked on open and uh, then clicked on start so this is a virtual box which is booting okay that's good let me uh, make the screen 
set okay so we have come with the screen screen okay if you see uh, it is uh, asking us to install uh, uh, CentOS 7 I'm clicking enter here here I have to follow normal OS installation process but I will take you through even that's normal in virtual box if you have to release your cursor you have to simply press uh, control control will be your right side control key then uh, you will release your mouse when I say release it mean if you can see I can navigate my mouse anywhere so if you want to do that press control control will be right side one okay installer is starting okay so here I'm selecting language this is default uh, I'm clicking continue now okay next thing here we have to select the drive uh, you can choose the option as per your requirements but here uh, I'm doing stuff very quickly I'm going with default things okay if you see uh, this is the hard drive which is default one it is already selected so from here I'm going to create uh, automatic partitioning I'm not uh, much bothered about partitioning that's lab setup here I'm clicking on done date and time I'm sticking with the everything default instead uh, the minimum install I'm going to make it uh, infrastructure server and uh, here I'm going to install uh, network utility let's say Samba and other network packages net NFS performance tools so you can uh, do it as per your requirements let me choose if I can see a uh, database okay I want uh, other thing I want to go with development tools and what other options I got okay that's sufficient so that's done clicking on done now okay and uh, here just scrolling down because that's OVM so you will always uh, see uh, these issues with the resolution I'm clicking begin installation So installation started let's set root password you can set uh, as per your standards I'm just setting it to normal because uh, that's a lab setup clicking on done so friends installation is going on it will finish uh, in I believe it will take uh, 10 to 20 minutes because I selected a uh, whole bunch of packages and uh, different uh, installation installations so I will pause this video for a couple of minutes till the time it get finished so OS install is completed if you see uh, we have to do reboot now I'm just clicking on reboot so reboot is going on friends once over rebooted uh, we can uh, configure hostname and IP addresses I just want to show you one demo how we can configure IP address and uh, hostname inside uh, a server this is console view CentOS is booting okay OS is up uh, this is a welcome screen I'm logging in as root user I think I typed incorrect password okay now I'm inside OS so let's configure the host interfaces it go two interfaces it's zero and it's one it's zero is our LAN. if config it's zero 
as I said I am going to assign this IP and to it one I am going to assign one dot fifty net mask is twenty four for it one I have to add gateway which is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one let me check routing table uh, again uh, we have to make this configuration persistent uh, in the interface configuration files so let's try to connect to this particular server now input root password okay that's good we are connected it mean uh, the server or the virtual machine which we just created is on network now and here you can do all your configuration stuff it got uh, internet connectivity to verify uh, let me do a small check Just setting Google name server here. Let's do ls lookup to google.com. Okay, if you see, ls lookup is working, and the first interface which is at zero that's for local communication. You can, if you have multiple machines, you can communicate using this particular interface. So, that's it, friends. Uh, you can do all the configuration stuff now. So that was a small demo how you can uh, create uh, a Oracle VM and install CentOS or Red Hat 7. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any query or any suggestion, just leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Thank you, friends. Bye.